now first we are going to roast some onions so you can either keep them directly on the flame or on a plate like this you can apply some oil too you can keep turning the onion so it gets evenly roasted and this takes about 15 to 20 minutes till the onions are nice and soft and cooked well now once the onions are nicely done they look like this and they're very soft so now I'm going to show you how to peel them so you just take off the outer peel and only the soft retain the soft part of the onion the white part and discard all the peel of the onion the onion is now cooked very well so it's nice and soft and this gives a very different flavor a very smoked smoky flavor to our garam masala chiam tea this is very crucial and very important to the recipe so you can just peel them and then later on just slice them or chop them into smaller pieces so here I'm using about four medium sized onions applied a little bit of oil on them and roasted them you can roast them directly on the flame or if you have a plate like this you can roast it on that now the remaining ingredients this is our roasted onion these are about five to six red chilies you can use uh, more of them this is about two tablespoons of coriander seeds or dhania this is one tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds this is about half a tablespoon of peppercorns this is soft uh, i've used about one tablespoon then there is a little mix of uh, other spices this is uh, the cinnamon stick i've used about uh, two pieces one inch each this is the big elaichi and then I've used about nine to ten uh, cloves or lavang this is about eight to nine pods of garlic or cloves of garlic and this is one entire you know we call it wati of dry coconut you have to grate this and this is two cups of tur dal which I have boiled I leave the instructions so first we're going to heat some oil in the pan I've taken about one and a half tablespoon so we're going to add all our spices starting with our cumin and we have to fry this very well on a low to medium flame followed by the dhania seeds or the coriander seeds now we're going to add some peppercorns fry this well too next goes in our soft this gives a very lovely flavor to the masala and then goes our mix of cinnamon sticks elaichi and cloves that's why the name garam masala because you're adding a lot of our Indian beautiful Indian spices then goes in some red chilies you can alter the amount of red chilies depending upon your spice uh, levels if you want it more spicy you increase the red chilies all of this has to really give uh, you know I mean get fried very well you actually have to get the aroma of all these spices so fry them well but on a low to medium heat not on high on a high flame otherwise they will get burnt so just fry them you'll see the color of the spices darken and the red chilies also change color to a darker red
now once you get the nice aroma of the spices we're going to add our dried coconut all you have to do is just buy that uh, wati of coconut and just grate it on a regular grater now you'll actually get the aroma of the coconut too along with the spices it's a beautiful aroma so fry this a little till the coconut changes color to a little light brown and then we're just going to cool this down and then grind it in our mixer to a very very fine paste so frying all this very well is very very important to our recipe now once all our spices have cooled down we're going to transfer it to our grinder or our mixer you can see that all the spices have been very well fried so all the rawness of it goes away and gives a lovely flavor to our dish now we are going to add our onions which we have roasted next goes in our garlic or lasun we have to grind this raw so i have used roughly about 8 to 9 flakes and we're going to grind this to a fine paste so now we're going to take a big pot to prepare this garam masala chianti we're going to add at least 4 tablespoons of oil once our oil is nice and hot we're going to add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds or mohri or rai once this begins to splutter we're going to add some hing about half a teaspoon followed by half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi fry this a bit now we're going to add this paste which we ground very very finely without adding any water as you can see it's a very finely ground paste and the color is so beautiful because of all the spices that we fry the red chilies the roasted onion now we have to fry this very very well on a low to medium flame till the masala or the paste oozes out some oil So we're going to fry it well. If only you could see get the aroma right now. It's just amazing. So you got to fry this for at least 7 to 8 minutes. then you can see the masala oozes out some oil that means it's really ready for our next step this garam masala chi amti goes best with a little bit of butter on top some lime squeezed on it and some garam garam pav or bread loaf there you can see now after frying it for about almost 10 minutes it oozes out some oil and 
now I'm going to add a little bit of red chili powder about one teaspoon if you don't want it very spicy you can skip the red chili powder we love uh, spicy food at my place so that's why I added the red chili powder now we're going to add the residue water that is you know when you wash your mixy pot with a little bit of water you just get the remaining masala that's there so I'm using that water first so mix that in well and now we're going to add a boiled tur dal like I said, I'll leave the instructions in the description box below as to how I have prepared this tur dal for the dish. And now we're going to give this a nice mix. So that the dal and all the masala gets well integrated together. And now we're going to add another two big cups of water because as this dal starts boiling it starts thickening so you have to add water so here I'm adding about two big cups of water and you have to keep on adding a little little bit of water as it's you know gets cooked and we're going to let this cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes on a very slow flame then some salt to taste this requires a little more salt than normal so I've added about one and a half teaspoon you can add as per your taste and like I said you have to keep adding water because otherwise it thickens up very fast and keep stirring in between and here friends after boiling the dal for almost 20 minutes on a very slow flame you get this amazing consistency please try out this recipe and let me know how you liked it this is Akshata saying bye and take care until our next video. See ya guys. Please do give this video a big like. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell icon for updates. Visit my channel for more than 140 recipes and thanks for watching. Bye, see you in another video.